Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Quickly, before I jump into this, I just wanted to share what color is on my nails. This color is Wild Orchid from Olive in June. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about one of the most popular questions that I get asked, and that is, what gel lamp should I buy? I wanna start doing my own gel manicures at home, and I need a lamp. What is the best one? I know it can be really overwhelming because there are so many options on the market. However, over the years, I have checked them all out. I haven't used them all, but I've checked them all out. I have kept my eye on them. I've asked you guys what you use and love, and after doing a little bit of my own research, there's one lamp that I tend to recommend to anyone who asks. So today I wanted to share that one with you. So for starters, the lamp that I currently use is really, really old. It's from like 2012, 2011. It's very, very dated, but it still works, and I still love it. So it's usually my go-to. I've replaced the bulbs once, but I am going to upgrade at some point, and when I do, I will most likely upgrade to this lamp. I actually checked Amazon for the most popular gel lamps. There are dozens of gel lamps on Amazon and it gets really confusing because it's like, is this UV? Is it LED? How many lights are there? How many bulbs? What's the wattage? What's the usage time? How many buttons are there? Like it, it can get overwhelming. I think it's best to stick middle of the road. So there are some very affordable options. There's definitely some pricier ones, but the lamp that I think is probably the best investment really sits right in the middle. And the price is not the only thing I love about it. So the lamp I'm gonna talk about today is the Sun UV Sun 2C series. Sun UV has a ton of lamps on the market, but this one in particular I think is the best buy. So like I mentioned, it's really mid price point. It retails just shy of $40, which may seem a little expensive, but this is something that you're gonna use over and over and over, and it really should last you a very long while. So this isn't something that I would be willing to skimp on. There are lamps that go for way more than that. 20, 30, 40 dollars more. So this 40 dollar price point is something that I'd be really comfortable with. It is a 48 watt lamp, which again sits right in the middle. You don't want to go too high, you don't want to go too low. Most lamps you'll see range from 24 to 120 watts. If the wattage is too low, it may not properly cure the polish. If the wattage is too high, your skin may become really sensitive to it. So sticking right in the middle, I think is the safest bet. What I like about this lamp is that it has 33 beads, which is basically those little lights that are used to cure the polish. After checking out most of the lamps on the market right now, they have anywhere from 18 to 36 beads, and this particular lamp has 33. So it's on the higher end, but it's not too many, it's not too few, I think it's really the perfect amount. When it comes to the buttons, this lamp has a 10 second, 30 second, 60 second, and 90 second option. So that really covers all your bases. The lamp that I currently have only has a two minute and a three minute option, which is just so old school. You don't need to cure your polish that long anymore. So I really love that this lamp has so many options. Some of the other lamps do offer more buttons, but some offer way fewer. So again, this is a really great mid-range. It does come with a wall unit, so you must plug it into the wall to use it, which is nice. I love a good old plug these days, honestly. Especially when you're doing your nails, it's nice to just be able to plug something in. This lamp does work with all gel polishes. It works with building gels, structure gels, poly gels, extensions, and other hard gels. So whatever line you choose to use, you should be a-okay. I love gelish nail polishes and I use them exclusively. This will cure your gelish polishes. I have noticed some people say that after they cure their gelish polish, the top layer of their nails is sticky. That's completely normal for gelish. Uh, no matter what lamp you use, you always have to wipe down the top with an alcohol solution just to remove that sticky layer. So that is just attributed to the product. So whatever polish you do use, you should be fine with this lamp. What's also neat is you can fit a hand or foot in it. So if you're gonna do your own gel pedicures, it's good to know that this lamp will be compatible for your feet. Earlier I mentioned that sometimes the higher wattage lamps can burn sensitive skin. A lot of people have complained about that over the years. I've never had any experience with burning, but it's definitely a concern. And what I love about this lamp that I did not see on the others is that it has a low heat mode. So you can activate the low heat mode, which will make the entire curing experience more comfortable for your hands and nails. This lamp also has a removable base. So the bottom part of the lamp can be removed if you need to put your foot in there or just make it a little more roomy. It's also cool because this one has a comfortable pillow on top. So you can use that when you're applying your polish. Whether you're painting someone else's nails or you're painting your own, it's nice to have that rest top right there. To be honest, I didn't notice that on any of the other lamps, so that's a bonus for sure. So again, I found this lamp on Amazon and a lot of people think that because you find something on Amazon, it just may automatically be junk or not the best option. But what most people don't
don't realize is that a lot of retailers advertise their products on Amazon. So you're not necessarily getting it from some miscellaneous vendor. This particular lamp has over 18,000 reviews, 82% of which are five stars, 10% are four stars. And then of course there's a couple unhappy customers in the mix because there always will be. I can be really swayed when I read one or two bad reviews. They just stick out in my mind so much harder than a positive review. But I'll tell you, that's a pretty impressive ratio. I wouldn't be concerned purchasing this for myself. I have recommended this to many of you over the years. Let me know below if you've bought it and how you like it. Anytime I put out a call for lamp recommendations, this is always one of the top suggestions. So I feel really comfortable sharing it and recommending it. I did take some time this week to compare and contrast it to four of the other top selling lamps on Amazon. Some of them had more reviews, some of them were a bit cheaper, but at the end of the day, after seeing them all side by side, this one really did stick out as the clear winner to me. So if you are in the market, I would highly recommend you check out this lamp. The best part about buying something on Amazon is, of course, Prime, but also the ability to easily return it if it doesn't end up working out for you. So there's really no harm in checking it out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below letting me know what gel lamp you use at home, and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!